okay so children so in the last section we have learned about the formation of extra embryonic coelom as well as the extra embryonic mesoderm and today now we will be learning with the formation of the definitive notochord so let's get started so in the last class we learned about all these structures that were formed and we need to know about the embryonic disc to learn more about the notochord so let's see the epiblast it is more of the columnar cells and the endoderm it is more of the, or the hypoblast it's more about the cuboidal cells now you also have to remember children that these are the three dimensional structures actually okay so you can see like the columnar cells actually all are tightly packed there is no much space between and here you have the cuboidal cells now let's see how is the notochord formed from this embryonic disc which is bilaminar let's get started this is the you can see this red color this one is the ectoderm and this pink one is the endoderm that we are going to learn today okay now what happens is that now you can see this is a bilaminar disc or with consists of only two cells isn't it yes now what happens the cells you can see the ectodermal cells are columnar in shape and the endodermal cells are cuboidal in shape isn't it now what happens is that some of the cells of the endoderm will become cuboidal in shape they were cuboidal now they will become columnar in shape now we can see some of the cells have become columnar in shape okay now this forms the prochordal plate now this is what we call as the prochordal plate you can see and then now we can actually see uh, the now we can distinguish the ends of the embryonic disc also not only that after some time the cells of the ectoderm will proliferate and forms the primitive streak now we can see here this forms the primitive streak some cells will proliferate and they form the primitive streak now you can see the now you can and determine the polarity like this is the head end and this forms the tail end of the embryonic disc is that clear yes now what does it do now what happens now some cells of the primitive streak they will what will they do some cells of the primitive streak will proliferate and they enter between the ectoderm and the endoderm that children the cells from the primitive streak as we said it will move inside it will also replace the endodermal cells it will also some of the cells from the primitive streak will replace the endodermal cells okay let's see what happens now this were the this was the endodermal cell now it gets replaced by the cells from the epiblast okay now see what happened the cells of the yes the primitive streak cells they all the move sideways you can see like the cells they move sideways in between the ectoderm and the endoderm now the endodermal cells have been replaced and not only that you can see here there is no mesoderm present okay the cells from the primitive streak forms the intraembryonic mesoderm so there is no mesoderm over here why because that is the portion where we have the prochordal plate so at that portion what happens the ectoderm and the endoderm is in close contact and that will form the future buccopharyngeal membrane again okay, this will these two will form as the lining epithelium and not only that children some portion that is towards the caudal area of the primitive streak towards the end of the primitive streak you can see here also there is no mesoderm there is no green color isn't it this forms the cloacal membrane now you can see this shape initially it was oval in shape but now it has become more pear in shape isn't it now what happens next is that there uh, the from the uh, cranial portion of this primitive streak what develops another one node develops that is the hansen's node or what you call as the primitive node okay primitive node or the hansen's node now the node develops a node develops at the cranial end of this primitive streak and within this node there will be a depression and that depression is called as the blasto blastopore okay this is called as the blastopore there will be a depression that is called as the blastopore now what happens 
from this primitive node the cells of the primitive node okay uh, just clearly listen the cells of the primitive node that will proliferate downwards in between these and they form they will proliferate till the end of the till the tail end of the prochordal plate you can see till here they will proliferate and that forms the notochordal process here forms the notochordal process that is the proliferation of the primitive nodal cells okay then not only that one more thing happens this can uh, this uh, blastopore isn't it this will get opened through inside these cells will proliferate inside and it forms a notochordal process through inside like this you can see from here like this they form a canal and that is called as the okay from here you can see a canal is passing like this and that is called as the notochordal canal so that's the step you need to know now we have formed till the notochordal canal now what happened is that the floor of the notochordal canal you can see this notochordal canal here the floor of the notochordal canal got intercalated with the endodermal cells it means it got messed up with the endodermal cells and not only that children after some time what happens the canal gets opened okay the canal gets opened like this now you can see the canal and also okay wait a minute the canal and it gets opened through the here it comes up like that it gets an open connection now you can see the canal over here the canal okay and it gets open that the blastopore canal gets opened so what happens now actually we have on top the amniotic cavity and below we have the yolk sac now there is a direct connection between the amniotic cavity and the yolk sac but after some time up after few time itself again the notochordal plate forms and it gets covered the notochordal plate will form okay the notochordal plate forms and it gets covered and later even the it gets covered by the endodermal cells and now what happens now by this process by completion of this process you get a definitive notochord a definitive notochord is being produced so thank you children thank you for your patient listening hope you all understood how the notochord has been formed and if you like this video please do like share to your friends and also don't forget to subscribe if you are a newcomer to this site to this channel thank you so much